Hey you guys and welcome to another review by me, by me Silverweed. I am so thankful that you would join me here today. It means a lot to me that you would spend your time on these reviews with me. So I'm gonna do my best to make a kick ass review for you. This time, as you probably figured out, it is Cloud Jumper from How to Train Your Dragon 2. Um, one thing I have about this dragon is that when it first, like the first, the name was revealed, it was Cloud Jumper. It could both have been like the species name instead of just the name of the dragon, because this dragon is named Cloud Jumper, and the dragon the species that this dragon is is Stormcutter, and both names could have been like the dragon species name, and that's what kind of annoys me about it because it's the same with Stoic's dragon, Skull Crusher. Um, that's a, the dragon is called the Rumblehorn, the species, but the, its name Skull Crusher. That's, those could both have been like the species names, so which kind of confuses me. Like, mm, I mean, Toothless makes sense because why would a dragon species be called Toothless? That's ridiculous, right? But but um. Maybe that's just me, and it's not. It's not like it's something that's going. I can't take it. I can't figure out the name. Is that not how it goes? But it's just a little bit annoying. Just a little bit. But the dragon, nonetheless, is cool. I like the look of the dragon. Now the look of the figure here might be a different story. <laughs> but anyway, it says Power Dragon, as you can see, as you can tell, Power Dragon double wing transformation. It says, and Cloud Jumper, and Cloud Jumper is off the strike class, just like Toothless is. The back picture of the figure and some of the other figures you can get. And um, of course, dragon. This, the box is kind of simple. The only thing that is with the box is that when it's like this, the dragon, the figure can easily get more damage during transportation. So that's why I think it's kind of stupid that Spin Master make these boxes. But I mean, the layout is, is fine, it's great. But just for safety purposes, it might be ridiculous. But the box is just a box, and we should get the figure out to see what it can do, because that's the interesting part, is it not? But I will go get a scissor, and I will get this guy out, and I will be back in just a second. happened guys everything is fine I didn't just give him I just gave him a haircut I just gave him a haircut a really pretty haircut you barely notice everything is fine everything is fine Damn you, Mr. Shizzo, why would you do that? Why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to Cloud Jumper? You planned this all along, didn't you? No, listen, I did. I'm so sorry. I get urges. Well, it's not good enough. Sorry, it's not gonna give him back his fucking whisker, is it? You little, little bastard. I will never forgive you. I will replace you. I will replace you soon enough. You better hear my warning. Okay guys, I got him out. I got him out of the, the package, packaging, and um, I had a little accident um, because when I used the scissor, I accidentally um, I accidentally cut off his whisker, this one. Uh, it is longer over here and I accidentally cut it off. I'm so sorry, Cloud Jumbo, I'm so sorry. But anyway, uh, we have to figure the tail has wire in it, so you can um, place it as you see fit, which is cool, really cool. 
uh, the tail is all it's really weird I mean it looks like this in the movie but it doesn't make sense to me how this will help him fly maybe that's just me and it's kind of rubbery it's bendable just as these uh, secondary wings are what to call them he's the same as the one two this half and um, he can open his mouth and he can of course flap his wings if you squeeze his legs together or make like four wings transformation the thing that annoys me about this dragon is that it doesn't make any sense that he has four wings how would having four wings make sense it would only be a bother because they flap right underneath each other it would make him fall to the ground if it were real I, un I would understand if one wings were here here and um, the other wings were there so when these went down the other ones went up like like swimming like the old um, sea dinosaurs did uh, but it doesn't make any sense because they're right underneath each other so it doesn't let's just leave it at that okay at the, it, 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 uh, it bugs me at times but it's cool this feature is cool that he has like okay then he has four wings and it's it looks cool but it doesn't make any sense and of course he can um, he can do something he can shoot out this thing he's he can open his mouth like slightly open his mouth slightly there's no button on him so you have to do it by hand power I guess I guess you take this and you plug it into his mouth like that and then uh, he shoots it out how does he shoot it out how does he how does how does one how does how does how does life work and it's gone forever no um okay so you put it in his mouth click and then you uh, open his mouth you press him up here on the top of the head and it goes out <laughs> simple and you can also close his mouth so you can just have him like on his mouth closed so that's cool <sighs> now for details the figure in itself the model is um it's okay it's cool i don't like that there's this big hole between the wings here they could have put something like rubber to hide that conceal it somehow so i don't like that but i like dragons that are posed like this posed like they're flying i really think that's cool the tail is really huge compared to the rest of the dragons with dragons dragon which i think is kind of weird um or maybe that's just me but the figure is okay cool um in itself there are others in the series that are greater but this is i like the dragon the painting could have been a lot better because there's basically no painting on it only the eyes the eyes and then there's a few spray spray colors down here on the, on the belly and a bit on the tail but what bugs me the most about the dragon is the size because in the movie this dragon is at, at least twice as big as Toothless now we have this dragon here and we have Toothless here Toothless is almost twice as big as him as the figure so that doesn't make much sense and that kind of annoys me. Why would you make him so small when he's not at all? So that's uh, ridiculous if you ask me. Ridiculous. And he has the, the thing so you can put riders on him. But if I were to put pickup on him, it would just look really weird because he is so small. He is so small so he wouldn't possibly be able to fly with that. Get in there. Get in there. You get in there. You like that, don't you? Because he's so small, he could be gigantic. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. I mean, how could he even fly? Oh, because he's just so heavy. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. I mean, Spin Master really fucked up the sizes with this. I don't like that. But I do like the figure, I do like the dragon. So if you like the dragon, if you like Cloud Jumper, if you like the Storm Credit Dragon, you should definitely consider getting this guy so go and check him out because he has some nice features uh, the dragon is cool the dragon is uh, a nice a nice little thing and you can open and close his mouth I like when they can do that 
it gives them some sort of personality i think but thank you so much for watching um i'm sorry that i damaged him with the shizzer i will apologize to him formally later i promise you he will be kept safe and nice um but thank you for watching and i'll be seeing you in the next one i make whatever it might be and uh until then Stay wonderful and I will see you in the next time.